here in the UK, you have to be careful. When you're teaching, even the students you're teaching, students call their teachers and lecturers by their names. So mm -hmm. they don't do the professor, doctor, doctor. If a teacher is teaching, you cannot just leave the class. You have to take permission. Ah, I want to go to the restroom. No, it doesn't work here. <laughs> we do not dictate lecture here. Like we mark online. Students are expected to ask questions. I saw a white cadaver. I was like, Whoa! a white cadaver. <laughs> Where are <I> from? <laughs> If you say it, you will fail that course. Or things that I didn't expect when I came to the UK University. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're just seeing me for the first time, my name is Jemima Machuku. And on today's video, like you've seen from the title, some of you know what the meaning of culture shock is, but some of you do not know what culture shock is. So in this video, I'm basically going to be sharing the things that I felt shocked me when I started teaching in the UK university. So it's basically um, things that are new to me or things that I didn't expect when I came to the UK university. So like something different with the practice with my old university and now the uk university yeah so that's basically what i'll be sharing in this video you guys so if you've not seen the previous video i made on how to get into um, a uk university as a teacher make sure you go and watch the video i'm going to link the video up there for you go and check out the video okay without further ado i'll get straight into the video okay so the first one is the use of pronouns you guys so back in my home country or as africans we do not really pay attention to he, she, ha, him, like, but here in the UK, you have to be careful. When you're teaching, even the students you're teaching, you have to be sure that this person is identifying as this before you address the person or you call the person. So you don't say, oh, help her get a book. She might not be a, a ha, if that makes sense. So she could be biologically female, but she might not be identified as her. So guys <laughs> it was a shock for me so i had to adapt to that like asking what would you prefer me to call you as or how do you want me to identify you on the safe side it's better to also know their name so you guys it was a cultural shock for me to like get in here and everybody's talking about he she they them them they so i also had to put my pronouns after my name jemima echuku she ha so yeah that's it. So that's the culture shock. We do not really practice this in Africa. So when I got here, it was like, oh, is this is a thing. And I had to adapt to the culture because I got into an inclusive environment, if that makes sense. Okay. So the second culture shock was, <laughs> there was already a prepared teaching guide and worksheets. And when I came in in January, like, I didn't think of, back in Africa, if you're a teacher, you have to start preparing your slides, preparing your worksheet, preparing everything from scratch. But yeah, because it's like small group teaching, like the university that I am, that's the University of Birmingham. So we have like a standard worksheet so that all the tutors will be teaching the same thing to different students. So there was already a prepared worksheet with the answer. So I just needed to read at home and come for the section. So it was less work for me. Yeah. And then the third cultural shock, you guys, after marking, I have to give good feedback to even poor performance. That was one that like struck me. You know, in Nigeria, when you score bad grades, I, I'm sure also in Africa, when you do bad, you, you, you could even see a teacher write zero over hundred, like zero over hundred and put two eyes, pull your nose, draw your head, everything on your zero. <laughs> but yeah, if somebody scores 20 over hundred or scores 25 over hundred, you do not just say, you did poorly you, you have to give constructive feedback that was a cultural shock i had here like this person of course scored 15 how do you expect me to say this is a good work you have to do this you would have done this kind of a good practice for them and for like it's good practice but i feel the way we africans were were taught like the way we grew up as africans we grew in the hard way so maybe <laughs> so when i got here you guys i had to adapt to giving constructive feedback for poor performance if that makes sense okay so the fourth cultural shock like this fourth and fifth one they're not really like kind of cultural shock for me now as a teacher at the uk university because i did my master's in the uk university so i actually had this cultural shock then 
so coming into the university to actually teach it wasn't really like a culture shock for me but for you guys watching it from the african country or from the asian country or wherever you're watching it might be a culture shock to you so i decided to add it to my culture shock list <laughs> so the first culture shock was students call their teachers and lecturers by their names so you don't see this person saying doctor this doctor jemima that was why when i was in nigeria when i was in edo state university i let the students call me by my name don't put miss jemima don't put all those things because i feel and it really worked then i think we should imbibe this into our culture in africa it helps these students to be um free to discuss stuff with you when i was in my undergrad i called my lecturers their names like so he gave me this one-on-one -on -one rapport with them i could talk to them i could share my problems with them and stuff like that so it's helpful like my line manager i even call her by her name i don't say professor this so i just call her by her first name and that's it so they don't do the professor doctor doctor this doctor mr uh, no 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 just the first name is okay um yeah so the fifth one is students can stand up from their seats so when you're teaching you know in africa if a teacher is teaching you cannot just leave the class you have to take permission ah, i want to go to the restroom no it doesn't work here <laughs> if you want to use the restroom students just stand up and they go to the restroom they don't need to take permission even if they want to go get something they want to drink water they want to have a wee smoke they just walk off and go do that so that's one cultural shock so the sixth cultural shock i had was we do not dictate lecture here like when you're teaching students you don't you know what we do in africa now you carry one note and say this is the reproductive system it's made up of yeah so then we say no come back again come again repeat yourself you now repeat yourself no we don't do those distinction here they just teach the students and give them their handouts or their learning materials which they've already uploaded on their canvas page or their website page and yeah another thing that shocked me is they have a journal club um this one was actually what i found out during my my master's but it's good i should share to you in case you're planning to come and teach in the uk university so they usually organize a journal club so what they do in this journal club is they bring different research articles and students will sit down read the research article try to critically appraise this article analyze it what went wrong what do you think the authors would have done better what's like kind of criticized i remember when i was in my master's one of our lecturers brought his own paper and i criticized the paper like without fear you can say i thought you including this would have done this i don't see this very useful for you to have put this in your paper you can talk like that but in africa where are from <laughs> if you say it you will fail that course <laughs> So it was kind of a cultural shock to me that you can freely talk, you have your own voice to speak and everything. So it's one, it's one, it's one great thing, it's one good stuff. As long as you are not rude about your opinions, it's really great. Another cultural shock was, mm, this one was quite, yeah, it's a cultural shock because as an anatomist, I do my dissections back in Nigeria. Not that I do a lot of dissections, but back in Nigeria, it was with black cadavers, of course. So when I got here, I saw a white cadaver. I was like, Wah! a white cadaver. <laughs> Don't mind me, you guys. So that was a cultural shock for me to see a white cadaver. I've not really like tried to see if there's a difference in the kind of dissection. I don't know if that skin is tougher or this. Like I've not really like done any study on it to know the the variation in kind of toughness or rigidity of the skin when dissecting or the kind of tissue. I've not done that, but. It was great to see a white cadaver when I got here. So it was a culture shock for me, you guys. Another point is the style of teaching, you guys, is different from how we teach in back in our own country. So the kind of teaching is they do not support that this is the correct answer. So back in my home country, like students will expect you to tell them the correct answer. Like, ah, what is the correct answer to the power mesonephric derivative? They wanted to tell them that it is this. But yeah, we don't like say it is this. We say, yes, it is this. It could be this. It could vary. It could be this. And this is why it could be this. So we let them critically think, if that makes sense. Yeah. So that was a cultural shock for me. So it was kind of good for me because I don't really need to think, not really think like, um, I, I don't need to be so scared that I'm not giving somebody the correct answer. So when students ask me questions, I, I can just say, in my own perspective, I feel this will be the answer. I don't know what other authorities think but this is what i think so it makes me play around giving answers to students if that makes sense so i kind of like this one yeah so the next one is 
So that's not dissect here. Yeah. There are few universities in the UK where they allow BSc students to dissect. So it was kind of something different for me and new. Because I know back in Nigeria, as anatomy students or some, there are some students that really dissect. Medical students dissect. But here, yeah, where I am, I know there are some other universities that allow intercalated studies like if you're doing the intercalated degree you can dissect a full body so yeah i was so shocked to see that the it's the staff we ourselves were the one that dissects and create prosected specimen for the students to learn it was so different for me like i've not had that kind of experience is we let the students do it so it's like kind of extra work in a way so so yeah that's another cultural shock another thing that surprised me you guys is i can collect feedback of my teaching so it's not like where i'm from a teacher can just come a lecturer can just come teach and just go it doesn't even care about what the students think but yeah i can actually request for feedback what do you think about my teaching and i can actually take that feedback and adapt it to my teaching and try to improve and yeah i find it very useful and yeah it was something i was kind of skeptical then like do i really ask for feedback do you think it's going to be rude like something like that so yeah that's that's it another thing also that shocked me is um we mark online not really shock shock but i know then back in my country we have some automatic system that you just give you just give it to the computer it marks but this one we mark online we can make comments online we can actually refer like it's a lot of online and also the students take exam online it's not kind of a shock but why this one shocked me was dissection exams where you do prosection from one station to another where you just write in paper no they the students actually write it on their um tablet they give them a tablet where they actually put in the answer so it was kind of surprising for me to see this kind of system and and i think this is the final one the final one is the 13th thing that surprised me is students are expected to ask questions so you know back then you are either scared for students to ask you questions but yeah students can just ask you questions expect the questions and they can hey <laughs> good they can ask you silly questions so just prepare to hear the questions so that is another thing that then you can see some people are shy to ask questions but it's not really the case here if there's anything i forgot or if you're a teacher in a uk university you're a lecturer you work in the uk university you teach students you teach your students and you feel there are still more stuff that shocked you with your own um culture say you're asian say you're indian whatever shocked you or surprised you when you got to the uk university that you feel i've not mentioned in this video just scroll down to the comment section and drop it on the comment section so that a lot of people that are watching this video will also know and be aware before they come in to the uk to be a teacher lecturer a professor a whatever and all those names that are affiliated to teaching students in the university yeah and this brings me to the end of this video you guys make sure you've subscribed to this channel already you've liked this video and you're ready to hit the share button <laughs> thank you for watching you guys see you in my next video bye bye go bye <laughs>